Kieran, I suppose a lot of Armagh fans would have went to Breffney Park during the league and it obviously was a very difficult night. What can we expect different now when this match comes approaching? They thought they had a difficult night, they want to see me when I went home. Um, it's it's going to be... It's, it's championship football, so you hope it's going to be different like in terms of the pace and uh, like from an our, our point of view, like you know, we hope we're not to give away as much ball. We hope to be able to make sure like we, we take the most of our scoring chances. But um, it's going to be a tough game. Like you know, there's not much point in sort of trying to make something that it's not. Like Cavan are one of the best teams in Ulster at the minute. Like, they're pushing hard over the last few years, and their talent seems to be coming through. What we would hope is that our young players are able to sort of stand up to that particular day. Like and, and our key men are able to take the scores that present themselves. Can you give us an update on injuries or who's in or likely to be back or out? No, like it's the same really. Sort of like since the last time, like you know, Kevin, Andrew uh, are injured. Like you know, Caelan and, and Jamie are gone. Kieran's coming back in. Um, James Morgan's back in as well now uh, before his operation. So you know, we have a couple back in. Brendan Danik he's back playing. Um, you know, Rory Grugan's sort of back too uh, playing. So, you know, we're hopefully going to get most of our players back before the game. A couple of challenge matches, Donegal, Derry, and a few in-house matches, presenting a few selection headaches for yourself. Like, yeah, well, people are, are starting to put their hands up, which is what you want. Like, we need competition and training. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to put too much emphasis on challenge games because it's all dependent on who the opposite team puts out and stuff like that. But it, it does give us an idea of like who's sort of like putting their hand up or who's uh, trying to sort of push. So yeah, you no, know, we have a couple of players definitely sort of like uh, pushing hard. I know you're in Crow Park for the Division Two final. Did you learn much about Cavan that day? Yeah, uh, I thought they played very well. Like they were just unlucky with a couple of the scoring chances. Um, you know, especially given his chance, probably about 20 minutes into the second half, like it just went over the bar. But uh, you know, the, again, they scored 15 points against a very strong defensive unit, like in Tyrone. There wouldn't be too many teams would be able to put that type of scoring rate up. And, like, and, and even with that, they'd hit a good couple of wides. So uh, we know we're going to have to be at our very best to, to challenge them. Rory, a couple of weeks out from the Cavan match, how's the preparations been ahead of it? Well, um, since the league, we've had a good long time to prepare, so uh, we've been, you know, played a couple of challenge matches and stuff, trying to get our um, sort of game plan up to scratch and stuff. Obviously, uh, it's a massive game against Cavan, and uh, they're going to be a hard team to beat. So, you know, we've been trying to step it up this last few weeks, and we're just in that last stage now. In the last two weeks, we were just putting the, your fine tune in the thing, really. So. We're happy enough with how it went, you know, so we're looking looking forward to it. In uh, matches against Donegal and Derry, challenge matches, how important were they for finding new options for Kieran going into the game? Well, it's a good chance for the management to look at other people. Like, obviously, boys want to put their hand up. They're working up very hard in training. And we do play a lot of matches in, in-house that people maybe don't see, which are as important as, as challenge games. But sometimes the challenge games can be a bit hard because whether the opposition doesn't play there perceived number one team and it doesn't give you maybe the proper sense of what you're going to, going to be coming up against in championships so it can be hard for the boys coming on as well but all they can do is try and put their hand up with their own individual performance uh, you know and try and show that they can do that role within the team whether it be starting or coming on. You had a wee hamstring, hamstring strain how are you going into the game fitness wise? Yeah well I'm fully fit again now uh, I had that bit of a strain just uh, after the league, so uh, that was months, five weeks ago, so uh, I've been fit now the last few weeks, so i um, hoping it stays that way for the next couple. Did you get to see the Division uh, 2 final, and if you did, what's your thoughts on Cavan? Yeah, I did see it. Uh, it was quite an open game, actually, maybe that was, whether that was Crook Park or something else. Uh, it was it was an entertaining game, especially the first half. Um, you know, it's the same thing we saw with Cavan that, that we know that they did, uh, that they know that they normally do, so... You know, they have a strong running game and some good forge in there, so it was just sort of confirmed what we know already and the, um, the different ways that we're going to have to deal with that, so it was a good opportunity to get a look at them. Aidan, Ulster Championship season back again. How, how's it been for our man to build up going into it? Yeah, we've put a lot of hard work in this past, all year really, but um, this past like, two weeks you know, we've put a lot of hours out on the pitch and, and in the gym with Julie, so um, we're hopeful that, uh, you know, that'll pay dividends um, in the game against Gavin and hopefully further on but um, our under the losing this game is going to be a tough, tough test and you know we, we have a 15 or 16 point deficit to, to turn around from the league so um, hopefully we've taken steps to you know improve from that game and I think the last few games in the league sort of 
did show that, but um, it's going to be a good physical game. I'm looking forward to it, and everyone's sort of fit and, and ready to go. So it's a match as well. Be going in as underdogs. Is, is that tag that maybe suits you, given the age profile of the squad? Um, yeah, I suppose it would suit. We, we wouldn't really read too much into that anyway. But um, I suppose we are underdogs with, with going there and, and, and Calvin, you know, short fairly well um, um, in Division Two. So um, it's a Division One team now against a Division Three team. So we're definitely underdogs, but um, we don't really see it that way. We see it that it's going to be, you know, an equal matchup, and you know, we know if we can produce uh, for the full seventy. You know, we, we've shown in patches. Um, good football, good pieces of play this year, and um, if you can bring that consistency to the game for the whole, we know we're not be far away and the final whistle. I know you were relegated, but those last three league matches, there did seem to be a real upturn in performances. How important was it to get those sort of under the belt heading into this? Yeah, we sat down after the bad cabin defeat and sort of said that you know it wasn't good enough, and you know we sort of um, you know had a few frank conversations and. Um, I think that sort of showed on the pitch where you know there was a sort of a renewed um, you know upswing, I suppose you could say, uh, in performance. So um, like you could arguably lose that wave a bit of momentum that you, you sort of gained in the last three games with the, the long layoff, um, but um, we're hopeful that we've brought the, the intensity and the, the quality and training and, and the in-house games and a couple of challenge games. Um, that we can bring that into championship day. It's been a big year for you. You've played a lot of football for Armagh, but you've also been captain of the side. How much of an honour has that been for you? Yeah, it's a huge honour to you know um, step in for for Kieran for a wee while. Um, hopefully, Kieran's coming back fairly soon. But yeah, it's a it's a great honour to be um, all that captain for however long. So um, hopefully, it's you know a testament to all the, the work I've done and you know, the faith Kieran has put in me. So, um, but. No, um, there was no really out of pressure or anything. I was just making sure that I was doing my job the best I can, and um, you know, just produce um, for my role um, for the team, really.